Happy Wine Down Wednesday, everyone. It's your girl, Lauren, the DMV Wine Goddess from Love Story Mobile Winery, back with a brand new wine release and review. So come on and grab your wine uh, glasses. Come on and kick it with me. Let's talk all things wine. Okay, so the new wine that we're going to be uh, uh, we're going to be talking about today and reviewing today it is the famous Pocket Cadu. Okay, this is a new sparkling wine that we actually just released um, this month that I know that you all are going to love. So let's kiki about it. Um, today I am going to be reviewing it uh, from our um, wine cards. When you all order wine from me uh, with my wine business on Love Story Mobile Winery. Um, it, you all will actually get a, a winemaker's notes. What are winemaker's notes? Let me tell you about winemaker's notes. A winemaker's notes is just, you know, a bio all about the wine. And it talks about that, you know, the appellation, where the wine is from. Uh, it talks about the alcohol content. You know, it talks about if it's a sweet wine, if it's a bitter wine, if it's all dry wine. Um, you know, and it also gives you a nice little recipe in the back, okay? So today, we're going to be reviewing the wine a little bit differently. And we're going to be talking about it. From a wine cue card so grab your wine glasses come on and kick you with me and let's talk all things wine okay so pocket sparkling wine this is an amazing new 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 um, collection to our uh, I like a do special. Uh, I like a do collection. Okay, and this wine it is a semi seco wine, and it says our winemaker notes. It says I paquette could do pronounced Pocket Cadu, California Semi Seco Sparkling Wine is a aromas of green apple, pear, and flowers of hints of orange blossom and also lemon zest. The flavors are highly fruity and very pleasant. It is a good, strong acidity wine, and it's off dry. It says it's off dry, but let's be honest, it's really a sweet wine. Okay, I'm giving it to you from my <laughs> my personal opinion, and it provides a substance uh, in the palate. The variables of this wine, you're going to be tasting things like, uh, well, you're going to be tasting French Colombard, Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, Sauvignon Blanc, Wangineer, Muscat, um, and also Pinot Blanc. Also, the Appalachian is uh, at California. This was released year-round. You will serve this cold. Cold meaning that you either put it in the freezer 30 minutes before your guests come, or you can chill it in your wine freezer or even in your regular freezer overnight, okay? And it is going to be in the May. You want it chilled to chill te to the test, okay? Um, the age of potential is one year. It, the alcohol content is 11.5. And this is a very sweet wine. A very sweet but pleasantly balanced, amazing wine. Okay. Fun fact. Let's talk about the fun facts of a, uh, of a bubbly, okay? There is an average of 15 million bubbles in a carbon dioxide in a single glass of sparkling wine, Okay. And the pairings of this, you would do sushi, spicy Chinese food. You could do China, uh, uh, Mexican food, also West Indian food, uh, fresh mozzarella, barella, Monterey Jack cheese, Gouda. Um, and also we have a Southwestern fish taco salad on the back for a recipe, okay? So this wine, like I said, this is it, it's a great fall wine, okay? Because you will taste the apples in it. The apples will come along really, really strong inside the wine. So you will taste, like, you know, it tastes of a, a Macintosh or a... It's like a Macintosh or a, a Fiji apple. If you, you you know you want to pair those together, also a, a little hint of a, a Granny apple as well. Also, you would taste the orange. I would say it's like a tangerine in it, but it balances out perfectly. All right. Um, this wine, like I said, this is a new wine. I you know just tasted it recently, and I want to say that this is actually going to be a rave for you, sweet wine loving girls. This is actually going to be the wine for you. Um, this is a great celebra uh, celebratory wine. Um, this is the wine that you will serve to your guests. Um, you know, uh, like I said, you can have it as a casual event or a dinner party. Um, again, you can also make, you know, mimosas out of this. You can do it uh, if you want to try a sweet uh, French 75. This will go perfect with that as well. Um, it goes well with the nice Bellini. And also, you can make an apple cider. If you all see my apple cider uh, martinis or margarita uh, or sangrias, I've actually did a tutorial on that before. And you all can go to my um, social. You can actually find it here or, uh, or uh, find it here. Or you can also go to my YouTube page. Okay, um, but this is an amazing wine. Um, what will I give this? I would say I would give this a t well, 
uh, 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, uh, I would say I would give this a 9. Again, this is a, uh, it's going to be an amazing holiday wine that you all are going to love. So if you all have any questions about this wine, if you all want to try this wine out, feel free. Go ahead on over to my uh, to my page, Instagram.com, Love Story Mobile Winery, or DM me and order your bottle today. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.